Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here, and with the Monster Hunter World Iceborne Beta returning this weekend, I thought it'd be handy to continue putting together the remaining weapon guides going over the new moves for each weapon, how to use them, what they do, basically everything you need to know to dive in and get started. I'll be doing one of these for each weapon, and we've covered most of them so far, so if you've missed any of those, you can check those out on the channel, but of course, be sure to keep it locked for the remaining ones coming later this week. Of course, if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated, and let me know what you'd like to see next. But in this video, we'll be turning our attention to more than just a support weapon, the musical mayhem that is the Hunting Horn. The Hunting Horn in Iceborne has had some pretty incredible additions. Hunting Horn has always been an asset to the team. It's always been a great weapon, whether you are using it solo, whether you're using it to help your team. Either way, it's an awesome weapon, and while it might be a little bit daunting to pick up with the musical additions, once you get your head around it, it's really not a complicated weapon to use. And in Iceborne, there's some spicy new stuff to play with. The main new change is, of course, the new note, the Echo Wave. When you press L2 after any attack, it performs this new spinning move, where you slam your horn to the ground, spin it around, and it plays a little note. Now, this move alone is fantastic. It does a ton of KO damage, so land this on a monster's head, and you have got plenty of opportunities to knock them out. But in doing this, it also adds a new note. At the top of the screen, you'll notice that any time you perform this new move, it places a brand new note. And by adding a new note to the Hunting Horn's arsenal, it now allows each horn to have a few more songs. Now, I'm unsure if this applies to each and every horn, but it seems we get a new offensive song, which is essentially just an attack that can be played, and one of them is also a special song that leaves a lingering buff. Starting with the attack song, the Impact Echo Wave. This is a super easy song to play, and performing the song kicks out this powerful Echo Wave. But what's more, just witness this. If you queue up three of the Echo Wave songs back to back, and then play them as a whole, and you encore, you then get the Echo Waves back to back. That is a ton of KO damage. Of course, on top of that, the new song, Extended Health Recovery, this will place a bubble on the ground that you and your team can run into, and if you encore this, it'll place a second bubble. It's only there briefly, but it does allow your team to then run in and benefit from this. Now, there are of course a few other songs that will be able to create bubbles from, but they will vary from horn to horn. And since we only have access to one horn in the beta, we can only test out one of those right now. Outside of that, you of course have your Clutch Claw attack. So holding down L2 and pressing Circle to fire at your Clutch Claw will allow you to grapple onto the monster, and you can then press Triangle to perform your weapon-specific attack. Doing this will apply a weak spot to the monster. The Hunting Horn is of course a heavy-hitting weapon, allowing you to then place a weak spot, and then go and hone in on that location and continue attacking it for massive damage is of course going to be a great asset. So, for the time being, they are the main new things to mess around with. A lot of really cool changes, definitely some great additions for this weapon. And if it's a weapon that in the past you haven't necessarily used too much because you thought it's too complicated or too daunting, I do highly recommend checking it out because the Hunting Horn is a lot of fun and it's honestly not as complicated as it might seem. But anyway, for the time being, that's what you need to know. Jump in this weekend, have some fun, and of course, be sure to let me know what else you want to see next. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.